Hello, hello. Welcome to my February bullet journal setup. I'm not much of a gamer, but there is one particular game that I can't get out of my head. Gree, developed by an Amada studio, is about a lost young woman dealing with loss and grief. The game begins in black and white, and with every level you complete, one colour is brought back into her world. Each scene is breathtaking, imaginative and emotive. I can't recommend it highly enough. Firstly, I'm illustrating all the pages in this month's theme with my Pigma Micron ink pen and my Tombow calligraphy pen and a range of grayscale Tombow dual brush pens. I will come back later and add touches of watercolour as a nod to the style of the game. In the previous clip, you may have caught me smudging these words as soon as I'd written them. I'm fixing this accident as well as the line that went a little off piste. Such is the risk of drawing freehand. Your absence has gone through me like thread through a needle. Everything I do is stitched with its colour. These words by poet William Stanley Merwin describe Gris world so perfectly. This double page spread is perhaps my favourite out of the entire journal so far. Crumbling hands in the game break my heart. Its imagery forms February's mood tracker. Having previously shunned habit trackers, I confess that I've drawn them here purely to boost the aesthetic of the page. One final experiment to see if they work for me. The forest friend is a shy little rock that eats square apples and follows Gree along her way easily one of the cutest characters in the game.
acrylic, gouache, oil paints, bring them on. But I am afraid of watercolour. Please don't criticise my technique, for I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm well aware that the paper in this journal is not well suited for watercolours. Still, you never learn if you never try. Thank you for planning along with me. I'll link the trailer to Gree in the description box below so you can see it's beautiful yourself. I hope you have a colourful month. Bye. <laughs>